This is Guitar 101 Rammstein, and last week, I, if you saw it, I put a video up for my first giveaway for one of these uh, copper picks that I've been making. Uh, I also sell them on Etsy. You can check out the link below. Anyway, I said I would announce the winner Saturday, which was yesterday, but I was swamped um, doing some recording with a couple different bands that I was hired to record uh, bass and various instruments for. So sorry for being a day late. Uh, so today I will be announcing the winner in this video. Um, I think originally I said, uh, you know, there was instructions to follow in the in the comments to name which kind of patina, you know, there's like the natural copper, there's these fire patinas. Um, this uh, black liver of sulfur patina. And Miracle Grow patina. Uh, what else we got? Um, ammonia. They have different ways of doing it. All have different results. Uh, but yeah, you're supposed to mention the one that was uh, your favorite. But also, I did something kind of tricky. Um, when I was saying that, in the two points of the video, you, there's text on the screen saying also to timestamp the donkey, which I pointed out where it was when I put the text. Because in the background, when I was working outside, there's a donkey somewhere in this village, and occasionally I'll hear him going off. So, um, only one person caught that. So, really, there's no need to do this, um, you know, random comment pick. As uh, only one person followed that instruction to the T. So, that means they watched the video closely. So, uh, the winner is Jeanette with Love. Uh, I think she picked the liver of sulfur patina. And timestamp the donkey. It was at 10 minutes and 27 seconds. So you can see what I mean there. Um, so yeah, out of all four comments. <laughs> so this giveaway didn't really, I don't know. I don't know if it has something to do with these YouTube algorithms that make my videos a lot harder to find or maybe my giveaway just sucked, I don't know. Meanwhile, I did get quite a few orders for picks, so that's cool. So um, Jeanette with love, I'm going to answer, I'll reply to your comment on the original video, but also if you see this one, um, all you got to do is send me a comment with your email address. If you want to avoid spam, you don't have to write it correctly. You can put AT instead of the at symbol or whatever. I would just give you my email address, but I want to avoid someone just claiming it falsely because they could just go, oh, that was me and send me their address. So um, send me your email address. I'll send you an email to get your mailing address and I'll throw the one you picked. I believe it was this one into an envelope and get it mailed off this week. Um, so thanks to everyone who participated, all four of you. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the video did get, in one week, 68 views, 13 thumbs up. I don't know, though. I thought a giveaway video would do better than that. Um, but I do still have these for sale on my Etsy page. They start at 18 euro. They go up to, I think, 22. A new thing, I, app, option I've added is I can, I got a custom order for this is where I can do like two different patinas, one on each side. So I could do like this Miracle Grow patina on one side and the other side, for example, like the fire patina I do with a torch. So it'll be a double-sided one. That's the most expensive option, it's 22 euro. Uh, again, I can drill holes in it if you wanna wear it like a necklace. I have the, I just bought some jewelry uh, parts to actually put a ring in it and all that stuff. Um, I can do symbols on them, and one thing I've been looking into investing in is a laser engraver. Um, I'm still kind of trying to make up my mind on it. And I'm kind of hesitant too because I'm, uh, getting into buying tools is like it's more expensive than it's like instruments. You know, <laughs> it's a hobby that gets expensive, but there's always something you can need. Um, so if I get that, I'll have another option of being able to, able to do uh, very uh, precise patterns onto the pick that are customized patterns that you pick. Um, so yeah, I mean, 18 euro for a copper pick, it's maybe sounding pricey, but these are handmade. Um, so I'm considering the time I put into them, they, it doesn't, it's not just a few minute thing, especially the patina, that can take up to a couple days. Um, the equipment I'm using that I had to pay for to do it, and the, you know, I'm using things for like fuel and uh, cutting discs, things like that. So that's why my prices are like that. Like I said, you can buy them cheaper. They're just, they're kind of, they're all machine made and stamped and maybe they're, they're personalized and that's with a laser engraver that you can get them for a couple hundred bucks and it's all, I don't know, there's no handwork involved. So um, 
check out the link below if you're interested in these picks. Also check out the Etsy page because I have a lot of stuff I still am going to be adding this week. Um, various stuff um, that I'm making and you'll see some more stuff coming up that's uh, music related such as uh, oh, guitar holders, stuff like this for the wall. That's all hand forged, made out of steel. Um, you'll see more of that stuff. I'm even um, got some hooks for balama saws, smaller ones as well, that are a lot more affordable, that are just nice decorative hand forged hook that'll easily hold a balama on your wall. Because that's one thing about a balama is I've cracked one because they fall over so easy with a rounded body. No matter how you carefully you think you lean it, they still can fall over very easily. Um, so yeah, I started making wall hangers for them because I'm tired of dropping them. Uh, so that's it. I will be doing another video very soon, more extensively on cords for the Balama. And also, you know, if you haven't noticed, if someone puts something in the comments for a specific video they'd like to see me do, I usually try to do it if it's reasonable, you know. Um, so feel free to add that stuff. Uh, that's it. So yeah, hopefully I hear back from you with your email address and I'll get this mailed off. I'm going, I'm actually taking a trip to the post office tomorrow. So if you get it, if you're quick, I might be able to mail it off tomorrow. I'll be able to do it this week regardless. Thanks for watching. Till next time.